guess I better turn my gas on. All right, guys, it's another day out here in the shop. Um, we are working on the International again. Close that so we can get a little bit better lighting. So I've got the rear end sandblasted and primed. And then we're, we're hooking up the four link stuff. Like I said before, I've got to finish these brackets here and these brackets here. So just working on that. I cut out cut out a cardboard template for that one already and cut them out and got them ready. So they're ready to just be welded on for that one. And then we've got a finish welding this thing in there and then I'm going to put a plate that boxes that in a little bit and then another ear that comes back and welds to that plate for this one to mount to so that's kind of what we're doing so I'll keep you updated and you can tag along Should hold, especially if we weld the other side. All right, I'm gonna unbolt those so that the bushings inside the himes aren't getting hot. And then we'll start working on the upper mounts. I got these plates cut out. I'm gonna put in here, box that in, and give me a place to mount that suspension bracket to on both sides, get the paint cleaned off. So go ahead and weld these in and then we'll make some mounts for that bolt up there and the rear suspension will be done. So here we go. Oops, I did it again. Sorry. It's Brittany, baby. I don't know where to put you. Where do I put you? Here. Okay. All right. That side's done. Watch yourself. Cool. Check that off the list of things to do. So this is the template that I made for that. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this same template and hold it on there and figure out where 
I can cut it off at and have it work. Then I don't have to worry about cutting out a whole new template. And just bend that one. Kind of hold it on the center there. Give it a little bit of overlap. I'm just going to cut it off right there. Loosen this bolt. Take it out. Well, I'm going to cut out a piece of metal that matches this. Bolt it in there tight so it's holding it in place. And then weld it on. So I'm going to leave it just... I'm going to have it hang over this. So we're getting a little bit of purchase here. But not so far that I can't, when I have this out of the way, I can't get behind and weld it in on the back side also. So I think that's going to be pretty, pretty dang close right there. So we'll give that a swirl, see what she does. Skizzers. Skizzers. Oh. Oh. Fiskers. Boom, new template. And I just gotta put those on here, cut them out, weld them on. We'll be one step closer to rolling chassis. I always try to line a straight edge up with the factory edge. It gives me less to cut. Uh-oh. You guys are clumsy tonight. What's going on? All right, we got it all cut out and cleaned up and got it started fitting it in with the bolt. So I'm just gonna tighten this up so that it's holding that nut tight where it needs to go. Adjust the fit of that so it looks good. back centered in the groove so that it's not misaligned as bad. See that's centered on the heim. That's pretty well centered on the heim too, so I think we're good to weld her like that and build one for the other side now. Boom. Got that welded there. And see, like I was saying, now I, when I pull this rod out, I can take and weld down that side too. Fill in that root. She's not going nowhere. So, on to the next side. All right. Got the other side welded in. So, now it's time to take it all back apart. Finish welding everything on both sides. We're gonna paint this rear axle and then put it in for the final, final build. So 
I'm gonna get to tearing it apart. Get this axle drug out of there, flip it around, roll it over. Get all the brackets and everything welded up solid and good. And then slap a coat of paint on her. Probably not get paint on it tonight, but hopefully get it all ready for paint and maybe hit it with a little bit here in the next day or two. So that's the plan. Um, it's a good thing to get, big thing to get checked off the list. Have the axle bolted to the frame for the final time and on to the front suspension. Anyways, we'll get at her. Frame side is done. All right guys, we're back at it again out here tonight. So I think last place we left off was cleaning up the welds on the rear end that we had done. Finished welding all the four link stuff in on the frame for the rear suspension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the front end of this frame on a little dolly wheel it outside so I can do a little clean up on these welds that are on the frame and then we'll be ready to put some paint on her. I took the little sandblaster and cleaned up around where I'd welded these bungs in. And then I'll just take the random orbital sander, hit that quick just to rough it up a little bit for paint. And we can paint these too while we're at it. So one step closer, it's gonna be fun. We're just gonna spot treat this, these repairs and these bars and this rear end with a paintbrush and some gloss black rust-oleum because that's how we roll. I don't know, am I cheap? Am I thrifty? I think I'm more thrifty. I know, it's not that hard to set up a spray gun, spray it. But oh well, pop this open and get everything black.
One day I'll have to tell you, have my grandpa tell you guys the story about how he painted his first car, 10 cent can of black paint and a paintbrush. Maybe that's why I do stuff like this. good coat on everything got the rear end doused up pretty good all the spots a couple coats on the four link bars so um, we're gonna let this stuff sit it'll probably take a day or two for it to fully cure so um, we'll probably come back in while this stuff's drying we could work on the front suspension get that put underneath this thing because none of that stuff up there got paint on it so um we'll keep keep hustling and keep working on this thing and hopefully get her put together here for too long anyways thanks guys have a good one